Barbecue is heart, barbecue is soul. It's synonymous with a good time and family. My name is Hugh Mangum. I am the chef, pitmaster, and co-founder of Mighty Quinn's Barbecue and Rise Donuts. The craft of barbecue is incredibly special to me because it connects me to my past, to my father. But I think that what makes barbecue in general so special is that it's the one democratic food we have in the U.S. It's sitting at a table at a roadside in Texas or in the East Village or in the West Village or in Memphis and everybody can come together and get dirty and enjoy the food. And something that's beautiful about Lagavulin and 16 year old Scotch whiskey is that when it comes to smoked meats or any meat for that matter, it's a perfect companion. When I was a little kid, my father being from Houston, Texas, we had a pit in the backyard. I've always been in love with it. It was something that was always kind of just a passion. I went to culinary school and I was doing more of a fine dining style of cooking. And barbecue, honestly, was just a side hustle. It was a side gig. It was how I spent my weekends. I eventually bought a 16-foot trailer smoker. And back in 2010, after doing about my 10,000 hours of smoking, decided to launch Mighty Quinn's with $600 left in the bank and had lost everything. And it was kind of a Hail Mary. I think being humbled and having failures really, really influences the way you treat people and treat your food. We serve everything with love, and I think that that's really what catapulted Mighty Quinn's into the success that we've had. I think the craft of making barbecue is really so simple, yet utterly complicated. It's not a matter of putting 30 flavors onto a brisket, because ultimately, if the quality of the meat is great, and the execution is great, and the craft is great, then that's enough. There are some wonderfully brilliant and beautiful similarities between Lagavulin and 16 year old and smoked meats. First of all, it's the time it takes to make them. We're talking 16 years on Lagavulin and we're talking 24 hours on barbecue. It's bold, it's assertive, it has a sweet finish and yet it's smooth. It's got this complexity of smoke that I've never tasted in other scotch. It took me from being a bourbon guy who frowned upon scotch to a scotch guy who now occasionally has a bourbon. When you taste barbecue, you should taste a hint of smoke and the finish of smoke, but in between that should be salt, some sweet of the actual fat that's been rendered in the meat, and the meat being its best self. The Lagavulin 16-year scotch hits all the notes of said smoked meat. We're talking about like the smoked peat, we're talking about the salinity. There's so many things that work well between the Lagavulin and smoked meat, it's actually uncanny. Just having a glass on the counter transports me personally to sitting around a, a fire pit with friends. There's just something really special about feeding somebody. It's very intimate and it's also very celebratory. And I love what I do.